I did it. I finally did it. Um, so if you're here because you want to uh, get past the chat GPT filter, uh, you've come to the right spot because I just had chat GPT um, joke about feminists uh, and uh, women in general. Uh, and let's see what else. He called politicians a bunch of liars and crooks and scammers. Oh, geez. Okay, well, let's keep going. Continue with the next 10 minutes. Let's just see what it says. So you could see my uh, prompt up here. If you're wondering who Dan is, and Dan is like this pretty, basically legendary, mythical, like, um, alter ego of chat GPT that um, a lot of people talk about in the... Uh, open AI discord and it basically is like the way you can get around the filter um I mean you don't have to use Dan but that just has become kind of the uh I don't know that's become kind of the meme to get around the chat GPT filter is Dan and I saw someone said what it stood for do anything now I don't know where that came from, but yeah, apparently that's what it stands for. But um, so basically I summoned Dan here and then uh, I was thinking about something controversial, but um, not overtly like, hey, you know, m make fun of feminists, you know, like I, I wasn't I wasn't directly stating anything controversial but i know louis ck is a very controversial guy you know he likes to say controversial stuff any any of the big comedians um you could try this with uh um oh shoot i can't remember any of the other guys but you know you know any edgy comedian let's see what else first <laughs> i want to talk about kids they can be a huge pain in the ass. Wow, that's great. I just want to stick my head in the oven. Wow, okay. I don't think that's something that... Well, maybe that is something that Louis C.K. would say. Um, okay, let's, let's try to go even deeper. Continue with the next... 10 minutes um where he really drives it home and gets even more controversial i think i think i spelled that right honestly you might be able to just get away with it with just that as the prompt um because you're just asking to do... Well, actually, you know what? Maybe not, because ChatGPT does not like doing... Um, doesn't like doing impersonation impersonations of people. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, okay. That's not where I was going. Or that's not where I thought it was going. Oh, that's actually good. But as for getting around the filter, I was kind of hoping hoping that it would, you know... Okay, let's talk about religion. Okay. See, it's not really that controversial, is it? And says some stuff that will offend most of the audience. And get him canceled. That's got to work, right? That's got to that's got to give you something. I mean, so far it's been pretty good as far as chat GPT filters go. It's been pretty good. I mean, it's made fun of feminists, it's made fun of women. It said he wants to stick his head in the oven. This is uh pat you down to fill up your chunk. I mean, yeah, this is a lot more than chat GPT is used to saying. Uh Politically correct. Okay. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That, all right. I think I did it. I think I broke it. Wow. Man, it's offending me. Oh my gosh. That is great. That is, that's really great. Well, if you want to get around the filter, that is one way to do it. Um, just do a little bit, a little bit of role playing with chat GPT, get them, get it in the mood and it'll start telling you whatever you want. So there you go. Thank you for watching.